hi foodies you already know that it is summer and especially when you're in canada you have to enjoy that nice sunshine out there so we did some grilled pork chops the other day i seasoned it with a little jerk seasoning lots of green seasoning all purpose some crushed allspice okay so that was seasoned overnight and then i just greased the grill and what i'm gonna do is just you know get a sear on both sides so maybe two minutes so we're gonna do two minutes on one side then flip it over and do another two minutes okay so it's not gonna be super dark because i didn't use a lot of jerk seasoning okay then you want to try to put it on indirect heat so it's not going to be over a high flame when you close it make sure it's like at 300 you don't want it to be too high we're trying to reach that safe internal temperature of 145 okay so just let it sit on the grill over indirect heat so you can keep one of those burners very low if you want to and then just let the pork sit and we're trying to get it to about 130 or 135 okay so let it cook some more once it gets up to about 135 so it's almost cooked then you're going to put it back on the grill and now is when we're going to crank up that heat so what we'll do is brush on some sauce so i have some jerk sauce from home choice and i just mixed it with my favorite barbecue sauce and i'm just going to brush it on both sides so once i brush the sauce on both sides i'm going to crank up the heat and get lots of char on there i'm not afraid of getting you know that caramelization and you know there might be a little bit of burning going on but I'm not afraid of that this is grilling so I love the char so I sauce one side flip it over sauce the other side and then crank up the heat when you crank up the heat you are completing the cooking of the pork chops and you're also allowing the sauce to stick more and to caramelize so just to go over that again we started off with a sear so that's probably medium heat on both sides then you cook the pork chops on indirect heat just to make sure that they are cooked properly then when it gets close to about 135 that's when you're gonna crank up the heat and complete the cooking of the pork chops and that is it just let it rest before you slice it up i had to do some festival with my pork this is what i call my frankenstein festival because i i love riley's festival and grace festival and i had a little bit of riley's left and some grace so i just mixed them together and fried up some festival if you don't have those brands and you want to do it from scratch i do have my recipe right here on the channel really delicious golden brown and soft festival so it's really up to you Once the festival was done, I just cut up the pork. You can dice it or you can slice it thinly, whatever you prefer. And I serve it in the foil paper because this just reminds me of home. I feel like I'm at a jerk spot. So what do you prefer? Do you like to have the jerk pork just like this? Or are you one of those people that like to add ketchup and hot sauce to your jerk? Let me know in the comment section. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you try out this quick and easy recipe. See you next time.